as hot summer makes way for the cool autumn. A dessert bar in an old courtyard in Beijing, the city, is offering some unique products to experience the changing seasons. 远古所有的东西的呈现都是四季时代。Our menu is seasonally updated according to the Chinese lunar calendar. So now we are actually past the solar term Li Qiu, which marks the beginning of autumn and the end of the dog days of summer. The main ingredients of Yuan Gu's autumn dessert combo, except for cheese, are Chinese chestnuts and hawthorn berries, harvested only during the autumn season. China itself has its own calendar. The concept about seasonal alteration goes not only in the flavor, but also colors, decoration, and plating. The recipe also has to do with the health benefits mentioned in traditional Chinese medicine. It's what we call yangsheng. This is unique in Chinese philosophy. That is also what sets Yuan Gu apart from the popular cafes, cocktail bars, and Western diners in Beijing's historical areas. We want to embed Chinese aesthetics in desserts, getting it through to young people in a form that they would appreciate. Yuan Gu is indeed succeeding with the help of social media and the increasingly health-sensitive consumers. I read about this place on Xiaohongshu, the lifestyle app. People are quite fond of the food and environment, so I came here to try it for myself. Honestly, I rarely drink Chinese tea or eat traditional Chinese dim sum, but I really love it here, especially this one in the bamboo joint. It's cheese but not too sweet and has a light tea smell. This is our best seller. It's not a simple mixture of tea and cheese. We would ferment the tea with high quality jasmine first, and then blend it with cheese. Also, we use the bamboo joint as a holder to give customers a real bite of nature. The market for creative Chinese desserts has been expanding rapidly in recent years. New brands are winning big investments. For example, the Dim Sum Bureau of Momo, based in Changsha, Hunan Province, just raised hundreds of millions yuan as Series A funding in June. Its rival Tiger Attitude received 50 million U.S. dollars in its A round. Yuan Gu, however, is taking it slow and has no intention to raise money from outside investors. Chinese people naturally love their own culture, and now they are more confident in the culture as the economy grows. It's a good opportunity for a company like Yuan Gu to dig into the history, take our time, and stick to what we believe in while being able to profit. Got some, yeah. CGTN.